Ladies and gentlemen, today is a big day. It's September the 7th, and that means, Beth? It's International Vulture Awareness Day, and who That's better right. to help us do that than our friends from the American Eagle Foundation. They are here with Instagram star George the turkey vulture we Let's have hold your applause we don't want to scare george no, not yet <laughs> robin and jenna hi thank you guys for coming on thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us and this is the very famous george this is george this is okay yeah. hey george hi george okay tell us about george so we're with the american eagle foundation we're a nonprofit organization located at pigeon forge tennessee mm -hmm. we care for about 63 different non-releasable birds uh, more than just eagles as our name implies we have vultures hawks owls, falcons, and a few corvids as well. Um, and George is a 34-year-old turkey Jeez, vulture. 34. 34 mm -hmm. years old. What's the no. lifespan? They can live to be up to 20 in the wild, um, but in captivity, they can live to be up into their upper 40s. The okay. oldest one we know of was 51. Wow. wow. And, and are m m most vultures turkey vultures, or is there a difference between like a vulture and a turkey vulture? There are 23 different species of vulture. Oh, all right, so then. the ones that you're going to find in our area are black vultures and turkey vultures. Okay. Um, and See them off the side of the road vulture. every now and Exactly. Yeah. They're the most mm -hmm. common species that we have in the area. Okay. Well, tell us about George and how he came to live in Pigeon Forge. So George was actually found abandoned as a chick. Mm -hmm. um, vultures actually nest on the ground. So when he was found running around, he was assumed mm -hmm. to have been abandoned. And he was taken in um, by some well-meaning people who hand-raised him. And unfortunately, George became very dependent upon people Aww. and no longer understood that he had to hunt for food for himself in the wild. Well, what's going on here? So, <laughs> uh, George likes George? to play in the gift shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, really? yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's called stealing. So, yeah. so we actually, um, George has a very incredible personality, um, and that actually inspired us to start what we're calling the Team George Initiative, uh -huh. um, which is where we're kind of using George to help change the face of vultures. Okay. Vultures have a very negative reputation yeah, they got a bad the rap, right? People often mm -hmm. think that they're ugly, nasty, stupid birds, um, but they're actually very intelligent, and they're beautiful creatures, and they're okay. very important to our environment. Yeah, yes. and so you have this Instagram account, we where do. George does, and talk about how that helps with this whole thing. Oh, it's meant to, like Jenna said, overturn some of those bad, negative uh, reputation that these vultures have. They're assumed to be mean, they're assumed to be gross and nasty and spread disease, when in fact they actually serve a very important role in our ecosystem. They are nature's cleanup crew. So these birds have stomach acids that are so effective that it's capable of neutralizing disease like rabies, anthrax, botulism, many more that would prove wow. fatal to humans. Uh, and any waste they do produce is sterile. Um, so they are currently, vultures more broadly, are currently undergoing a crisis. And George, we're kind of using as a spokesperson for that, of the yeah. 23 species of vulture found worldwide. 16 are threatened, endangered, or close to wow. extinction. Oh, gosh. Now, was and he trying to give you a kiss? Yeah, what was going He's on? He's very you? curious. Um, he loves to get into things. He loves to pick at clothing. He loves to shred things. So a lot of his Instagram is videos of George going for walks on the property, cruising through our gift shop, cruising through the office. We have some videos of him chasing some people. So it really um, is like a day in the good. life of George. So it is. It is. It yeah. is. And okay. people really, really love him. Um, he's got close to 3,000 followers. So wow. he's or over cool. 3,000 actually now. Mm -hmm. um, Georgia right. famous. But we're actually here to um, sort of promote our very first uh, celebration of Vulture. International Vulture Awareness mm -hmm. Day. Okay. So, so um, tell us what talk you about planned. that? Oh, well, we have two big events planned. Uh, the first is a special show over at Dollywood at mm -hmm. the Wings of America Theater. Uh, it will be vulture themed and we'll have a vulture ad at the end of the show. Uh, the big event is at the King Family Library in Sevierville. Uh, so from 10 to 1.30, we'll be there with George. Uh, so fans of George will have the opportunity of meeting this handsome guy in person or in bird, I and suppose. When is that, <laughs> when is that one? Uh, that is on September 7th okay. at the King Family Library in Sevierville. It's so fun. 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. We'll have there lots of activities planned. So George will be there. We'll have a giant coloring page. Uh, we'll have vulture themed cornhole as well. So it's going to be great for the entire family. Mm -hmm. Does George seem to like all this attention? I think so. He's been displaying a lot of behaviors that show that he's very comfortable. The fact that he's curious enough picking at my shirt. He was sitting on the stage preening earlier. Um, so he's definitely okay. showing some behaviors that he's very comfortable and very content with where he's at right now. You can see so. through the side of his nose. I know you that. You can. So oh, his nears right. are actually yeah. hollow. Awesome. I'm so well, glad thanks for coming in. Yeah, yeah, thanks yeah for coming absolutely. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, boy, do we.